Come on, you bless it. Not my father, says the Lord. Amen, I say to you. Whatever you wait for, one of the least of my brethren, you will it for me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all, and with you still. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today our Holy Catholic Church celebrates uh, the feast of uh, Saint Maximilian Colby, priest and martyr. As we celebrate this feast today, let us all reflect about the moments where we fail to see this intercession in our Christian lives and ask for God's pardon mercy and strength. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the Savior of the streets. I confess to Almighty God and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have a sin in my thoughts and my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, there are thoughts that may be All the innocent saints and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord of your God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who fill the priest and martyr, Saint Maximilian Colby, with a burning love for the Immaculate Virgin Mary, and zeal for souls and love of neighbor, graciously grant through his intercession that, striving for your glory by eagerly serving others, we may be conformed even until death to yourself. Who lives and reigns with you, the world of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Please be seated. First reading is from Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me. Mortal, make known to Jerusalem for abominations and say, Thus says the Lord God to Jerusalem, Your origin and your birth were in the land of the Canaanites. Your father was an Amorite, and your mother a Hittite. As for your birth on the day you were born, your navel cord was not cut. Nor were you washed with water to cleanse you, nor rubbed with salt, nor wrapped in pods. No, I pitied you to do any of these things for you that were compassion to you, but you were thrown out in the mortal field, for you were a Lord on the day you were born. I passed by you and saw you flail in the earth in your blood, as you lay in your blood. I said to you, live and grow up like a plant of the field. You grew up and became tall and arrived at full womanhood. Your breasts were formed and your hair and grown, yet you were naked and bare. I passed by you again and looked on you. You were at the age for love. 
I spread the edge of my coat over you and cover to make it I pledge myself to you and entered into a covenant with you, says the Lord of God, and you became mine. Then I bathed you with water and washed out the part from you and anointed you with oil. I clothed you with the water and cloth and with sandals of fine leather. I bound you in fine linen and covered you with rich fabric. I adorned you with ornaments. I put bracelets on your arms, a chain on your neck, a ring on your nose, earrings in your ears, and a beautiful crown on your head. You were adorned with gold and silver, while your clothing was a fine linen, rich fabric, and a water cloth. You had choice flour and honey and oil for food. You grew exceedingly beautiful, fit to be a queen. Your fame spread among the nations on account of your beauty, for it was perfect because of my splendor that I had bestowed on you, says the Lord God. But you trusted in your beauty and played the poor because of your fame and lavished your coins on any passerby. Yet I will remember my covenant with you in the days of your youth, and I will establish with you an everlasting covenant in order that you may remember and be confounded and never open your mouth again because of your shame, and I forgive you all that you have done, says the Lord God. The Lord the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm. You have turned from your anger to comfort me. You have turned from your anger to comfort me. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my might. He has become my salvation. You have turned from your anger to comfort me. With joy you will draw the water from the wells of salvation, and you will say in that day, Give thanks to the Lord, call on his name, make known his deeds among the nations. You have turned from your anger to comfort me. Proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing praises to the Lord, for he has done more as me. Let this be known in all the Short, shout aloud and sing for joy. O royal Zion, for great in your days is the whole form of Israel. You have turned from your anger to comfort. Gospel acclamation. Receive this message not as human words, but as truly the word of God. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Some Pharisees came to Jesus and to test him, they asked. Is it lawful for a man to divorce his wife for any cause? Jesus answered, Have you not read that the one who made them at the beginning made them male and female and said, For this reason a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife and the two shall become one flesh. So they are no longer two, but one flesh. Therefore, what God has joined together, 
that no one can separate. They said to him, Why then did Moses command us to give a certificate of dismissal and to demote sir? Jesus said to them, It was because you were so hard hearted that Moses allowed you to demote your wives. But from the beginning it was not so. And I say to you, whoever divorces his wife, except for unchastity, and marries another, commits adultery, his disciple said to him, If such is the case of a man with his wife, it's better not to marry. But Jesus said to them, Not everyone can accept this teaching but only those to whom it is given. For there are humans who are being so from birth, and there are humans who have been made humans by others, and there are humans who have made themselves humans for the sake of the kingdom of heaven. Let anyone accept this who can. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. The words of the Gospel of the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, good evening. Yes. Hope you're all uh, doing well. And I would like to explain about today's saint. I am sure you should have read some books about this saint, or you should have read some matters about the saint whom we celebrate today. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Maximilian Mary Colby. He was a very famous saint who lived in the last century. Saint Maximilian Mary Calvi was born in Poland and when he was a small boy he had a desire to become a priest so he went and joined in the Franciscan religious order and he became priest and he was always devoted to a blessed virgin Mary he used to say while he was uh, alive here on earth he used to say let your lives be guided and led by our blessed Virgin Mary. And while there was the World War II, listen, and once it happened, there was a young man who had a family. He was about to be killed in the prison, but he was very sad because he had a family, he did not want to die. It was seen by our saint, Saint Maximilian Mary Conway. And Maximilian Conway offered his own life, he sacrificed his own life for the young man. The young man was saved, but our saint, Saint Maximilian Mary Colby, he was uh, injected, lethal injection, and he sacrificed his life, he died. And this saint, Saint 
Maximilian Berlioli is a patron saint for all the prisoners, and he is also patron saint for all the journalists, and he is also patron saint for all the people who are. Addicted by the drugs. When we pray for all those people who are addicted by drugs to this saint, surely he will pray for us. He will pray for those people who are addicted by the drugs. And through the gospel reading of today, Jesus invites you and me to offer our sins to God. Maximilian Kolbe offered himself fully to our blessed ones in Mary. Let us also offer our words, our own thoughts, our own actions to God in our Christian lives. Let us ask for His grace and participate in this holy Eucharistic celebration. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread you offer, fruit of the earth and milk of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Yes, Blessed be your prayer. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine you offer, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become a spiritual drink. Yes, Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord sacrifice in your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for the glory of God's Holy Spirit. Be present, our obligations to you, O Lord. Humbly praying that we may learn 
from the example of St. Maximilian to offer our ready lives to you. Through Christ the Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts and give them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord and our God in His right and just. It is truly right and just of a duty of a sound mission. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, Saint Maximilian Mary Colby, poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth a marvelous work by which in our weakness you perfect your power and on the feeble bestow strength to carry your witness to Christ and the Lord. And so with the power of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth and before your majesty, without change, we convey and say, You are in me holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. May holy therefore these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Do this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up. In a similar way, supper was ended. He took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and give from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured for you and for many for the success. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the death of the Lord and to drink from the table. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you are always worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that part in the body and blood of Christ. We may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread out the world and bring her to the fullness of charity to God Francis our Pope and Christian of Bishop and all the clergy. Remember your servants, Philip and Linda Blaze, whom you have called from the soul to yourself. Granted, who were connected with your son in a death like this, 
may also be maintained in his resurrection. Lord, we also pray for all our parishioners who participate in this Mass. Lord, bless them, bless their intentions and bless their family members. Lord, we also pray for all the brothers and sisters for whom we have promised our daily prayers. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them to the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. That the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, and his spouse, St. Joseph, the blessed apostles, St. Maximilian, Mary Colby, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coined in eternal life, and may praise and glory for you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the image of the Holy Spirit, all glory and power is yours, forever and ever. Amen. Our Savior's command is formed by human teaching. We have to say, Our Father, the Lord is in heaven, hallowed be the name, thy kingdom come, thy will be the Lord that has peace in heaven. Give us his day of living in heaven, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive us as for the trespasses, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every day. Graciously grant peace on the days, that by the help of your works, we may be always free from sin, and saved from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior. Jesus Christ, for the kingdom of God, and the kingdom of God, is now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said your apostles, peace I give you, my peace I give you. Look not our sins for the faith of your church, and grace is to grant your peace and give it in accordance with your faith, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with you. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace of Christ, even peace of Christ, 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 Christ. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called in the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter and arise, but what I say the Lord, so it shall be.
Greater love has no one than to lay down his life for his friends, says the Lord. Let us pray. We pray, O oh Lord, that renewed by the body and blood of his son, we may be inflamed with the same fire of charity that Saint Maximilian received from this holy banquet. Christ the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Almighty God bless you all, the Father, in the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let's all go in the peace of Christ. Thank you for coming for the Mass. God bless and have a good night.